Subscribe and hit the bell icon and never miss another video. How strategically I have placed, no? <laughs> Full mark. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I like it. What did you study? Oh, just drop into my lap. Oh, that's the book that you need to get. <laughs> Hi, this is Malini and I'm super super excited because my guest today is somebody who I feel is just the most incredible, most inspiring, most lovely and positive person I pretty much have met in my life and this is no exaggeration. She's a celebrated author, she's a director, she's a professor and most importantly she's a sunshine lady. Tahira Kashyap has joined us today for a virtual happy hour for the girl tribe and we just celebrated 50,000 members Tahira so we're here to celebrate that with you so thank you so much. for making this even more special well done you guys you this tribe is very very special to begin with everybody all the women are here and it's just uh, so so heartening to know that there are 500 now followers and which is 500000 am i right 50000 50000 It's going to become five. अभी मुँह से बोल दिया तो अभी next five hundred people eat होने वाला है. That's this is what it is. Correct. This is we've thrown it in the universe. That's how it's going. Yeah. To so yes, that's so amazing. Thank you for having me over, guys. Thank you so much for being here. So the way we do these virtual happy hour is a little bit different. Usually, I get to ask all the questions and okay. be the interviewer. But today, the girl tribe gets to ask the questions Lovely. and get into my shoes and gets to be part of this experience. I'm very excited to have my co-anchors join me for this. But I just wanted to start with asking you because you've written I Promise, you've written Sold Out, and now you've written your next. Book, so hats off to you because it's really hard the process people don't understand the twelve commandments of being a woman. What a perfect perfect story, especially for the girl tribe. So how did you come up with it, and what can we expect from it? It's um, it's brutally honest, honestly speaking, and I don't know what to expect. But all I know is that my my family members are getting palpitations. So it's like, ये भी लिख दिया, ये भी लिख दिया, सब कुछ ही लिख के रख दिया. So people might just have fun at my expense. uh but yeah so it's like i said it's it's brutally honest it's everything in my life and i just feel that um we are a very interesting species uh and there's so many stories about us that are untold and unexpected um and so we have these anecdotes uh you know throughout our lives whether we have been this gawky teenager or um you know inquisitive toddler or we in our 20s or our 30s So you know, I think with every phase, I have tried to um, share a lovely anecdote, and um, yeah, it might just uh, you know, it might just resonate with a whole lot of women, and uh, men might just be intrigued. I think so. It should be like I think every guy's handbook to understanding women. Okay, so the first thing I have to ask you, Tahira, is give us one commandment that's in this book. Uh, any one commandment? Um, any one commandment? I like or just randomly. which is something that you like something that you think is relevant to the girl tribe maybe you know um so uh there's this how strategically i have placed no <laughs> full mark <laughs> yeah i like it <laughs> i <laughs> like it kya gayi hai ye padi thi oops it just dropped into my lap oh that's the book that you need to get <laughs> <laughs> so there is this one it's the fourth chapter it says small towns have many laws it's hard to break them and be a rebel with the cause i just feel um when you know we sort of have a voice or an opinion uh it's very easily labeled into this being being a rebel you know this this woman is a rebel she has a voice of her own or she is expressing something i think we need to do away with that and uh, yeah all of us belong to some to small town some to bigger cities but predominantly have faced uh some sort of sexism at some point of time and of course it evokes a lot of anger but i have sort of taken the funny route and have made light of the situation and you know it's um that's how i operate but i have tried to make a point uh and this is a uh, one chapter that i that I really really like and uh, there is another one that um you know <laughs> this is also for for married women so now i have a law or i have a sort of a um a commandment for every every phase like i said so this one is they come in all shapes and sizes and have all kind of flaws but you simply must love your in-laws so i have <laughs> this <laughs> i have a very funny anecdote but it's it's a reality so it so happened that um i was engaged 
and um, I, I you know the marriage preparations were on and so my mother in law she went to delhi to shop for me and i was very very excited and i was like no no i'm going to tell her no you don't give me some heavy duty jewelry and i'm i was rehearsing my lines as to how to say no to all of that and when she comes and she gives me my gift it's it's uh, it's lingerie and a thong and i was like what <laughs> wow so, so you know there are such uh, incidents and there are lovely stories you must must uh, grab this and i'm sure it will resonate with you at some level or the other so even when it you know when you when you've just married even if you have known your partner for so many years uh, marriage is a whole new ball game altogether so there is another commandment which she says which says you need patience and courage not to kill each other right after marriage so you know there are some i also i have talked about fads you know like in the sense the fad diets and i feel that's a very essential part of um, of course i've taken a very lighter route and a humorous undertone to it but i feel it has very serious repercussions when it comes to our uh, well being and uh, uh, you know and it it's a, it causes a lot of stress and i'm still dealing with it i'm so i um, in the, in this in the sense when i was in my 20s i was not very kind to my body i did all kinds of fad diets i tried to fit into one stereotype that was supposed to be the most beautiful assumed to be very very attractive for any lady to be and uh, for that i needed to be uh, in 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 the weighing scale which started with the 5 with the digit 5 but i am 5 8 and a half uh and it's very difficult for such a tall person to sort of have a weight which is in the 40s and 50s but that's how it was around me that women are supposed to that women if you feminine if you're a woman you're supposed yeah. to have it and that's the thing and i beat myself down to it and uh, right before marriage i did hit the 59 kilo mark but the after effects i'm still suffering so you know i'm intolerant to a whole lot of things because i was not kind to my body mentally and physically and these diets have really screwed it up for a whole lot of people so i've covered that bit i just feel like i said there are a lot of things that all of us have gone through at some point or the other have probably ignored it uh, but i've tried to address it in the most fun witty humorous way um, i'm sure you guys will enjoy it that's amazing i think these are such relevant things and i'm glad you're doing it in a light hearted way because that's what it is that's what we need i would like to ask saira about uh, how your practice of natural buddhism going on and how it has helped you overall especially in this lockdown because i myself i am practicing uh, natural buddhism from this year oh wow i am congratulations it's a lovely philosophy yeah i think uh, whatever philosophy works for whomever um But that by the end of it, we just need to know that we are born to be happy, and that's how we should live our lives. Um, of course, the joyous moments in our lives, we enjoy them thoroughly, enjoy them. But I think the sufferings also, if we embrace them, then the suffering becomes less. Uh, life becomes a beautiful process of living. And any such philosophy that empowers you, uh, which tells you that the key to, to to your own happiness lies within you, you have the key to your happiness, and uh, you can turn things around even in the midst of chaos. and really empowers you at the most fundamental level i think one should really really uh, go towards that should be gravitated towards such philosophies for me in itrins buddhism did that and i'm just so glad that you're doing it as well i would like to know from you uh, some important points to keep in mind while writing a book and did you face any obstacles while you were writing yours one um, it's become my mantra for everything that i attempt to that just be honest to the space that you are in um i think once you work from that sense of being where being honest and uh, you know that you know uh, there's no point being pretentious i have been i have tried to have a garb of of and i have had a pretentious self and i was in my 20s and i have discarded that and i have discarded like how that i don't even want to go back to it so i'm very honest uh, to whatever medium i pick to whether it's film making or books and uh, that's the space uh, that i have explored in here as well and when i attempted every chapter it really came from a place of honesty and when it's you when you uh, when you when you honest then you actually uh, live out the moments like how they played and uh, without sort of covering it up and buttering it up with layers of perfection uh, i have yeah. celebrated imperfection in my book in fact and uh, life is about that um and my tips to anybody else who wants to write a book is was that your next question or any obstacles that i faced any obstacles that you um yeah there are a lot of obstacles like um 
my my son not getting his homework done or uh, you know uh, whether whether it's work calls whether it's something not being cooked right in the kitchen i mean to say there's so many roles that we, we sort of uh, don and uh, um, you know we do have this word of uh, multitaskers being associated with us but i think now we should discard that so that the other gender takes it up on the on to themselves and they also become multitaskers and don't Absolutely. expect us to do everything i think that's it's an easy way to get away with things are yaar women oh. you're so great superheroes yeah. ho aap aap to multitaskers ho and then they yeah. just do what they have to do so we should yeah. not get uh, <laughs> you know we let them get away with this so what is your motivation to stay positive especially when there's a pandemic going on everybody is in a mess so just want you to ask that i know rashi i hope the pandemic has treated you well um and say so all of us tend to go through ups and downs um and all of us oscillate between uh, you know like oh today was a brilliant day and then oh, you go crashing down the next moment of the next day and it's just that and the oscillation between um, all this is also exhausting in itself and we usually feel this in normal circumstances but considering we all were in a lockdown these emotions are tend to sort of get multiplied and you feel it more intense but i think it's a moment to moment struggle and a moment to moment determination i mean so you have to keep reminding yourself that you have to keep marching there's going to be light at the end of the tunnel and it comes you know nothing lasts forever uh, the good times don't last forever the bad times also don't last forever everything is transient you know everything is uh, for a specific time and i don't think we should take life way too seriously it's about um, living moment to moment deriving joy from there um, even if it's a struggle just one more moment live one moment at a time so yeah I so agree with that and I think it's also about finding all the silver linings you know that we would actually not be having this experience and I keep telling everyone in the girl tribe it's lovely to have guests like you where people's memories of the lockdown might include a lot of sad things but they will also include this live where they got to hang out with Tyra Kashyap and have a very intimate conversation so thank you for that Tyra this has been absolutely incredible tell us a little bit about why people need to pick up this book why are 10 commandments so important for the girl tribe and women for women and men in general oh yeah so yeah so 10 10 commandments for the world but 12 for us uh because uh, i think um it's it's a beautiful species like i said a beautiful gender which needs to be celebrated hence some extra commandments being thrown in there uh for us to rejoice um i think you should definitely pick up this book because it speaks to you um it will evoke a lot of intrigue um there are few zones that you would have explored but uh it makes you takes you back to those experiences and in the most delightful and humorous ways and men should need to pick they need to pick up this book as well because there's always a thing or two they can learn about how women feel and they react and uh, to also know that um, all of us are not stereotypes of each other we are individual and we have our own quirky issues we can be fun we can be humorous and um, it's going to be a thrilling experience Absolutely, and that is your responsible response to not all men, not all women, also. Okay, so I finally have asked. We have asked all the girls in the tribe to write down a word they think of when they think of you. So, ladies, write down your word, and we're going to all hold them up for the camera so we can take a nice selfie. Okay, everyone, hold up your word. And I'm okay, we have strong I'm inspiration. Oh my God, so sweet. These are all words that they have associated with you unstoppable wow valiant powerhouse empowering such beautiful beautiful words okay everyone hold up your words so i can take a nice picture of everybody oh. all right everybody ready boss lady okay nice perfect okay everybody smile lovely thank you so much that i was absolutely you. this is so good thank you so much congratulations on your third book we are so excited to read it it sounds absolutely inspiring fourth book yeah. oh my god wow i need to now you're very inspiring i've like not even finished the second one no so no 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 because there is a story behind the third one so you know i had written these this is for you all i had written the two books and i thought are yaar now to i have arrived because there's a publisher who came up to me and he was like you know 
uh, you uh, are you ready to write a book and i was like oh, of course i've written two and here i've arrived and he's like oh, you need to write a book about your husband you're just the co-author in there i was like oh, okay <laughs> so uh, it's been quite a journey for me that was my third book and this is my fourth so yeah amazing but four books down so excited to read this 10 plus 2 commandments for all women. Thank you so much for being part of this virtual happy hour with the Girl Tribe. You're leaving us with a beautiful Sunday. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.